So have y'all been enjoying the few more minutes of sunshine each day? We sure have. We come home and we head straight outside. This is the time of year where our dinners start to get a little bit later and later. And um, that's okay, because we are enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> so right now, I have 10 jugs, parsley, um, greens, kale, lettuce, and then onions. And here in a few days, I'll be sowing some more greens. I forgot about my Swiss chard and my spinach for some reason the other day. And then I'll be sowing herbs and flowers. So this little space right here is gonna get filled up. I have found that grouping them together is quite a bit easier um, for when a frost comes and if there's little sprouts in them, you wanna cover them with something if it's not something that can withstand some cold. So grouping them together is really nice because you can just throw a tarp over them or a blanket. So it's pretty easy. So my two boys are really interested in having their own garden space. I've been trying to convince them just to do it with me, but they want their own space and I just love that. So I'm gonna show you where their garden space is gonna be. It is right here where their old place set used to be. Um, there has been wood chips on this ground for two, maybe three years now. I think maybe just two, this will be the third year. And so we're going to rake it back build up the soil a little bit because it is compacted. Um, make some raised rows and they want to grow um, peas and carrots and some tomatoes and cucumelons. And so that's, that's going to be fun. I cannot wait for them to get started out here. The chickens have been doing their thing out here too, which is great. Some free fertilizer. And um, that'll be, this will be fun to just be on the back porch and be able to look out and see their garden. So I am excited for them. So I came walking through the garden the other day and I'm seeing all the work I need to get done. It's making me a little antsy, but we'll get there. Um, where we expanded the garden, I need to lay a lot more mulch and that takes, that takes some muscles, <laughs> which I don't have very much of, but we'll get to it. Um, I just take it day by day, little by little, section by section. And that really does seem to help. Looky there. Some mushrooms growing. It's a cool one. I like the looks of that one. As I'm looking now, I see all kinds of them. So it, it is amazing when you cover your soil, how it's still working for you, even in the fall and winter. I mean, look at this. Lots of mushrooms more over here. The ducks have just decided to jump in. Ice, ice and all still in there. <laughs> they've made such a mess so they've made some more water holes for them. While the ducks were making a mess in the water, the chickens are making a mess in the old flower buckets with all the dirt. They are using it for their dust bath. Dust baths are really important for chickens. And this time of year, it's almost impossible between the snow and the rain and the ice and the mud. Uh, we leave these out for them so when they, can, when they can get out, they can go and take care of that. It really helps keep them healthy. So the other day we were out uh, near the windbreak we have up there on the hill next to the beehives, just looking at the pine trees and stuff. And um, Levi brought me a little gift. He wanted me to have this praying mantis nest in the garden for this year. So we tied it up here so it would be all right. And um, hopefully we'll have lots of little baby praying mantises. We got to see them hatch one year, it was so cool. We just happened to be out in the garden and they were, they were all coming out. And it is a sight to see if you ever um, get your hands on a nest and can, and can raise them and, and um, watch them hatch. It's, it's fun, especially with kids. Thanks for taking a quick trip around the homestead today with me. I guess it is about time for me to go make dinner, so hope y'all come back. <laughs>